know, whether it's ludicrous area codes or the welcome to Atlanta and welcome to New York, somehow Rhode Island gets left out. I figured this is a good opportunity to run down some of the cities and towns and some of the stuff that you'll encounter while you're here in Rhode Island. Johnston. This is like a mix of like 1960s Italian and current day Jersey Shore. You can always tell when someone's from Johnston even if you don't know them. Foster, Gloucester. These are technically two different towns, but nobody knows the difference. The thing we know about these two is they ain't never going to school. They probably canceled school in like December of 2019 as a precaution to the Rona before we even found out about it. They hate school. And all the kids hate them because on a snow day, the first one up is... Lincoln. Now the only thing I know about Lincoln is it's all white. Seriously, I don't think there's been any diversity in that town since Randy Moss moved out. Like weird vibes. Like, almost culty. Not a fan. Their math skills? Probably the worst in the state. Main attraction in Lincoln is the Twin River Casino. You can catch some CES fights, hit up the Lighthouse Bar for some free entertainment, or you know, browse the floor and entertain yourself. Watch the locals show up in sweatpants with a cup full of change, smoking cigarettes, trying to hit it big on the penny slots. I'll take the latter. From a distance, of course. Coventry. Oh my, Alabama of the North. Coventry is where you find all the characters you wish you never met. You ever wonder why you see Confederate flags up in New England? Yeah, me too. It literally makes no sense. But if you're in Rhode Island and you see those, chances are they're from Coventry. It really doesn't make any sense though. If you really, if you really think about it, it makes no sense. Not only is, not only is it backwards in the South where these people are from, it's even more ridiculous in the North. It's like if it was the only Super Bowl that your team was in and they lost, but you still fly the flag of the, the, the logo for that Super Bowl. Is this not stupid to anybody else? Is it, is it just me? West Warwick. I need to remind you, especially if you're not from here, even if you are, some people don't understand, there is a very distinct difference between Warwick and West Warwick. You know how some places have pajama day at school? I mean, this was pretty much every day at West Warwick. I was always amazed how many people actually went to school in their jam jams, which I never wore jam jams, so I guess if I went to school, I'd be wearing nothing. Maybe boxers. You ever wake up and have those dreams too where you're in school naked? For no reason. Nobody knows why, you have no idea. You sit there and you're like trying to pretend that nobody notices that you're completely naked in school. Why does that happen? Am I the only one that has that dream? Because it happens a lot, it still happens. Academy of Finance, butt naked. Why? It's also filled with the best slash worst townie bars you can find. On any corner in downtown West Warwick, you can grab a beer or a bump of Coke. Warwick like the regular Warwick. Home of the PBD airport. I guess it really doesn't matter, but if you live in Warwick, you get all sorts of jerked off when people say they're flying into Providence. Um, no, it's Warwick, batch. Thanks, but you're not exactly upselling flying into Rhode Island by saying you're landing in Warwick. I mean, the main attraction in Warwick is the airport. Oh, well, actually, right next to the airport, they used to have a Hooters that closed again for eight years. They were actually gonna reopen, uh, and then the Rona hit, so there goes that. Shout out All Stars. There is a mall in Warwick. There used to actually be two malls in Warwick. The other was the Rhode Island Mall, which is basically on the same street. That one died like a slow death, and at the end, there was like three stores scattered in the mall, still open. I mean, rumor has it is every time a tenant moved out, Stop and Shop was paying the rent. So Walmart next door couldn't buy it and then make a super Walmart to compete with Stop and Shop that's like parallel. I don't know. That's what I heard. So they're like paying to keep a building vacant. That's Rhode Island for you. So if you're flying into TF Green Airport, you are in Warwick. If you're in Warwick, check out that Route 2 diet for all of your fast food needs. They literally have a Wendy's, Taco Bell, Trashy Don's, Burger King, Waltz, Subway, Sonic, Chick-fil-A, KFC, and oh yeah, two Dunkins. One of those Dunkins is just a walk-in and about a half mile down the road 
It's a double drive through Exeter. Uh, I don't know. There ain't shit there since the lad school got demolished. Uh, there is a movie about the lad school that is called Exeter. So there's that. Woods and creepy vibes. If you're into that shit. Who am I kidding? I love that shit. I used to be a ghost hunter. I was a paranormal expert. I had a whole team. We used to go out. We used to hunt and shit. It was great. And then we just, you know, stopped going and stuff. And I don't have any friends anymore. So. Providence. The capital city of Lil Rhodey. Providence is really like the melting pot of Rhode Island. In a fairly small city, there's four colleges and even more strip clubs. They have events like Water Fire and PVD Fest. And also is home to the beloved Providence Bruins. Fond memories. Sort of. There's plenty to do in Providence. It's all packed in a very small city. And it's not nearly as ridiculous as New York, and it's way less obnoxious than Boston. Also, moms hate driving to Providence. It's just a fact, I don't know why, it's just a fact. Uh, they hate driving to Providence. They don't even like, like, I think they close their eyes when they, when they go on the highway through Providence. If they have to go into Providence, they ain't doing it. They're not a fan. I don't know why, but that's factuals. Smithfield. Uh, everything you need in Smithfield is gonna be on George Washington Highway. North Smithfield. There's a difference here, and I'm not sure anyone cares, but it is also the home of Wright's Dairy Farm. And home of the Beef Barn? Uh, not much else going on in North Smitty. Cranston. Felcher? From Cranston? Where people, for some reason, they say words that end in D, they pronounce it as a T. For instance, the word stupid is pronounced stupid. The word salad is pronounced salad. Bastard. You get it. Cranston's main attraction, in my opinion, is Marchetti's. And go ahead and cue the Marchetti's haters because they give you too much food. Oh, if that's not the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard, a restaurant gives you too much food for your money, too much bang for your buck. You got, like, too much food at a completely reasonable price, and you realize you could just fucking throw it away, or, you know, like a normal person, save it for another meal. There's also Joe's Place, which if you're like me and you wanna stock up on some dope fragrances, you go to Joe's. Wholesale, dog. Sweet prices, know what I'm saying? All right, there's definitely more cities and towns in Rhode Island. I didn't cover them all. Um, I'll get to them. There's more, for sure. Uh, there's ones that I've never been to, so maybe I actually have to go visit these places, and then I'll give you my feedback in a sequel. How's that sound? Love you forever.